how to network as a creative. Our three tips. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the very first episode of Workflow Wednesdays. It's a new series. Where we're gonna help you guys. If you're a creative, if you're an entrepreneur, if you run a small business, we're here to tell you guys all of our tips, techniques, and tricks of how we do things. So the first thing we're getting into today is our tips for networking. Throw the introvert out of the car. We're all creatives, we're all introverts, and that's the hardest thing about getting out of that shell and going out and networking. We're not used to it, we're inside our head, we're imagining worlds, we're creating cool things, and we're not going outside and introducing ourselves to each other. So that's the first thing you have to get over. Stop being afraid, go out there and start conversations. And there's an easy way to make that a fluid transition. Start with networking events in your industry because you already know the content, you already know what other people are gonna talk about. Start there, that way you can at least have familiar ground with these other people. It's not like going to a party and you're like, hey, it's f***ing hot out, isn't it? And then it goes into nothing. With this, you know, uh, you know, people are gonna be interested in cameras or video or photography or whatever your industry is. Finger painting. <laughs> so start with your industry and then move into other industries. You'll have that connection building, you'll have that relationship building skills, from staying in your industry originally, and that will help you branch out and get more business, make better relationships with other people, and build your client lists. Because that's what matters. Be genuinely f***ing interested in what the person is saying. So have you ever walked up to somebody in a, uh, in a networking event and you start talking to them and asking them questions, and all they want to do is talk about themselves, and then when you get a breath to talk about what, you know, sort of your story, they seem genuinely disinterested, that sucks. So be f interested in what the other person is saying because you're gonna learn a lot about who that person is, what their stories are, what their pain points are. You're gonna really learn about that person because it's about community. It's about making friends with other people rather than just trying to sell your product to some other person. So listen to other people. That stuff comes off pretty transparent. If you're not listening to somebody in a conversation, they're gonna read that and they're not gonna wanna work with you. They're not gonna wanna build that relationship with you. Fully engage, listen to somebody and give them your all. Build that relationship because that's what truly matters at these networking events. Online communities are invaluable. They're rad for multiple reasons. So if you're an introvert, you can go online and still get your networking in while staying in your pajamas. Yeah, you absolutely don't have to even leave the house to network with people. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's been hugely successful for us, like invaluable, seriously. What we've been able to do with just Facebook groups alone has been huge for us. In these Facebook groups, they're even posting jobs, and we've actually gotten a couple of these jobs because we hit these people up in the groups, and because we've been in the groups in a while, engaging and growing our sense of community in there, that they trust us and they want to give us that work, and that's yep. invaluable. That's money, guys. Money. That's how you chase down people on online communities, is basically there's going to be somebody who has a pain point mm -hmm. and they're going to ask. And if you're constantly giving advice and giving value uh, to everybody, eventually a job will come up and they'll say, hey, who can handle this? And you might actually get recommended. So participate in those, those communities. Yeah, for sure, at least check out Facebook groups. They definitely can add a lot of value to your, your networking and your job searching because there's just so much out there. I think we're in 15 to 20 different networking groups for videos and creatives and brand builders and content creators. And it's just been so great. Like these communities are not only just great for finding work, but it's also great for being supportive and, and growing. Like you can have, you can throw your videos on there and they'll critique it and give you reviews. And they'll also help you build, you know, maybe your client list or build your contacts or build strategies and build other ways you can go out there and grow your business. There's also an app called Meetup, which you guys should download and check out because it has all the local networking and groups in your area and even out of your area if you were willing to travel. We'll put a whole list of people in front of you that you can go check out their events and build their communities with them and really get a good heads up on things in your industry. And be willing to travel. Yes. Be willing to travel. Yeah. Meet up with these people. Get out of your house. So online communities are great for beginning those connections and those relationships, but it's on you to continue growing those outside of the online community. Yeah. We've even started an online community on Facebook, Facebook groups, that we want you guys to go join if you have any questions or just wanna chat about creatives, business, that kind of stuff. We're here for you guys and we believe in the importance of this community. So go over to Facebook and add a group. The group's called? We are Buccaneers. That's right, we are Buccaneers. That's the idea for Buccaneers, obviously. Yeah. 
That's the, the buck and the buck and under. The buck and under. Yeah. Let's... So go over to Facebook, at our Facebook group, We Are Buccaneers, and we'll be happy to chat with you guys. Yeah, ask us any questions that you've got. Ask us literally anything you want. We're there to sort of support the community and, and give back to whatever whatever you guys need. That's the whole reason we do this. Yep. For you guys. Okay.